Do you believe that what you do matters? Because you see, how do you build an organization that has a higher purpose if they don't believe that what they do matters? It doesn't matter what you sell, it's what you stand for as an organization. I want you to know, this woman is so accomplished and so fierce and so fabulous. She was recently named one of the top 100 women in automotive by Automotive News. And now she helps to transform businesses and promote corporate civility and winning cultures. She just finished inking her second book. It's called Crushing Mediocrity. It is my great pleasure at this moment to bring to the stage Lisa Copeland. your superpower. See, I know what mine is. Mine's passion. If I get behind something, there's no stopping me. You've got to find people that love what they do and they do what they love every single day. But I'm going to tell everybody in this room, it starts with the leaders because that's what your team is looking for, is a leader that shows up well every single day. And to show up well, you've got to be passionate and determined. And I'll tell you the things about fear that you need to think about. Now, we aren't just fearful that something's gonna happen. I know as many people that are fearful to succeed as they are to fail. Because with success comes a whole nother set of problems. And so there have been things in my life and my career that I've put on the shelf because I couldn't answer the end question, right? The what if. But you know, I had to, man I made a decision that there was something bigger and better for me in the universe. So I had to make the decision to fear less to step out in what I believe to my very soul is my destiny, to help entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, and major corporations build the best workplace that they can build, where they can have a, a team that's engaged, that they can sustain their success, that they can retain their success. What is it that makes you special? What is it that makes people want to follow you? What is it that makes people want to work for you or work for you in your organization? Because that's how you build a world-class culture as a leader who fears less. So how many people in this room know somebody that's ever struggled with indecision? How many times do we just sit there and we don't decide? And then you look up and you said, if I would have executed because somebody else got the job, somebody else started the company, somebody else took the product, somebody else did it. So when you decide not to execute, you've made a decision to fail. So I'm gonna challenge you. What is the one thing that you believe you have to do that'll change your life? What is the one thing you can do that can change the trajectory? What is that one person that you can meet? But the thing that will stop you from doing it will be fear. 95% is sitting up here, but it's stopping you from executing. So just know on your toughest, darkest, roughest days, then you're like, I'm gonna quit, it's not worth it, I can't make it, I can't do this. If you will power through that, you'll succeed because that is where you're at 97 feet and you're three feet from gold. You need to have your own story to be able to tell. You need to find your tribe, you need to find your passion, and then you need to share it with all your colleagues and friends. So make it a great conference. Thank you so much and I love you guys. Bye-bye.